Well, hello and welcome. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I'm going to be talking with very much excitement about model-based design. Model-based design is a sea change in the way we've been doing business for many years. For many years, we've been designing stuff using powerful tools like Katia, SolidWorks, NX, Inventor, whatever it is. And in many cases, we make a step file and we make a PDF. And we designers, we then communicate with manufacturers, our manufacturing partners, and we send them these things. And hopefully, they create the right components and assemblies for us. And model-based design is the art, if you will, of creating a single source of truth or a digital twin and instead of sending our manufacturing partners a step file and a PDF, we send them one package that has all the product definition data that we need to ensure that what we were thinking about in terms of our design is actually manufactured properly. And model-based design and model-based engineering, these terms are confused. There's different definitions and people are not exactly used to it. But today I can show you at least that we have made some progress and we are doing some things that I think you'll be really excited about because we have the ability to do this model-based design very much more efficiently because of a new tool that Siemens has implemented in Siemens NX. So specifically, let me just show you a little example. I have here a little piece of geometry, it's a very simple piece of geometry. And here at Design Visionaries, we have some very smart people. And we've created a little tool just to show you the example. And we call it the Design Body Tool. So you double click on the tool and you select a annotation plane. Here's an annotation plane. You select a plane that will indicate to the tool the direction of horizontal. You select the body that you're annotating. You select a plane that indicates the vertical direction and you say OK. And just like that, it's like miraculously, we get the whole callouts. We get a little note about the radius of this corner and how many of them there are in the model. We get the overall length of the model. We get the position of the hole, just like that. So this is kind of fantastic. Now, the vision. Just imagine you have a company with tens of engineers and you're all creating this aerospace geometry. You're creating this medical geometry. It's an automotive uh, company. And these hundreds of engineers or whatever, however many engineers are spending a lot of time doing 2D drawings like we all do. Uh, most of the engineers that I know really enjoy the 3D part, but not so much the 2D part. And just imagine that these engineers now can just press a button and have most of the work done in terms of the inspection data, in terms of the, 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 the dimensions and, and all the callouts done automatically. Isn't that a fantastic vision? Well, it's basically here. If you use this model-based engineering package, if you use these techniques and you annotate the solid rather than create these 2D drawings, then it's all in one package and you can send this off to your manufacturing partners. Now, part of the problem has been, well, many problems. First of all, people have not embraced this yet. There are some companies that have been doing it for years, but other companies that have not embraced it. Two, the tools have not been there to uh, get this done. Well, now they are. Three, manufacturing partners don't have these sophisticated tools. Some companies, even big companies, are dealing with quote-unquote mom-and-pop shops that don't have the sophistication to take a model-based engineering model. Well, that problem is solved because there's a step uh, version, step 242, where when you export all of this to the step file, it actually has the annotations, etc., and then you can hand to your manufacturing partners a very um, inexpensive, if not free, translator that anybody could use. So the, most of the problems that are stopping people from embracing model-based design 
are solved. The biggest of which, of course, is just familiarity. Next, I want to show you how these little tools are created. So in order to do that, I'm going to edit this particular tool. And I'll show you that when you bring up the right portion of the software, there's this canvas here. And there are these nodes. And you can place these nodes on the canvas and connect them with these little connectors. And it makes everything happen. So for example, this node right here is the select body node. And this is what informs the little tool that you're making to select the entire body. And this is the select plane mode. And this leads to a lot of these little other nodes. Some of them are called snippets. And a snippet is, con is a collection of a bunch of these little nodes that you can put on this programming area, this canvas. And you can create these um, wonderful techniques and package them, if you will. You can make prompts. Everything is here. This is very, very similar to algorithmic modeling, which I've done a couple videos on that. So please uh, check out those videos as well. So it's really easy when you get used to it. When you understand these little nodes and how to get them on this canvas and connect them, you can experiment with them and you can make almost anything happen. So that's pretty incredible. So in June, in Las Vegas, there is an event called Realize Live, which will be uh, a wonderful event that talks about all of these new techniques and many, many more. It's a uh, event where hundreds, if not thousands of people from all over the world will converge and share what they know about this technique and others. I will be giving a speech. I will have the privilege of showing you um, more about this. Um, I'll have much more time and um, I hope you'll attend. And um, the most important thing that I can say um, is thank you so very much for giving me the opportunity to share these kinds of things with you on this channel. Um, please subscribe and uh, tell your friends about it, about 100,000 of your closest friends. Um, like this uh, video if you appreciated it and please attend Realize live speech in Las Vegas in June. Hope to see you there. Thank you very much.